Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan. And yes, is my dad as well. Big Bob Payne. Good morning, dad. It's obviously chaos out there. How are you holding up here with the coronavirus? We got the markets to talk about today. It's going to be, you know, we got a lot to talk about today. How are you holding up? We do, Rob. We have a lot to talk about, but you know, I'm no different than anybody else. This is really scary. It's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm social distancing. You know, I'm working out of my office in Naples. You're out of, you're not even in New York this, this week. You're, you're in the Ocean City home working out of the office I have in Ocean City. We're doing everything we can to protect ourselves and protect our families, but it's scary. It really is. And I, and I, you know, I feel, I feel for everybody right now. Yeah, no, I absolutely agree. And this kind of market volatility, obviously, this kind of uncertainty only makes things even more nerve wracking. And the good news is, this is not our first rodeo. Um, we've obviously been through a lot of these. And I think, you know, today, we're really going to focus on just what you need to be thinking about right now with regards to the market volatility, your financial planning. I'm sure everyone has a lot of questions. We're going to talk about what we're doing in our practice to be proactive here as opposed to reactive. You know, a client called me just the other day, Ryan, said, Bob, do you have all that gray hair from raising Ryan and Chris? <laughs> or is that uh, is that from all these declines that you've been through, you know, over the last 46 years? I like to think you uh, split it 50-50, Bob. I don't <laughs> think it was all because of me. <laughs> all right. Now, don't don't even mention your sister now. Please keep keep your sister out of this. Okay. <laughs> well, host not listening today. Well, look. <laughs> We've got a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. You know, we're going to talk about response to crisis in the midst of this coronavirus meltdown with the markets. Bob and I are going to break down exactly what you need to do to respond to the markets here. We're going to talk about common mistakes. With so much turmoil going on right now, we don't want you to be irrational and make bad long-term decisions. Bob and I are going to discuss common financial mistakes you really need to be avoiding right now, along with this week's financial propaganda. Obviously, there's a lot there in the media that you want to avoid at all costs. There's good news, bad news. We're going to actually decipher what you should be listening to and not be listening to. And it's going to be an all pain, no pain, no gain radio show today. We have my brother, Bob's son, our financial advisor, pain capital management, Chris Payne on the show. He's actually going to walk you through a real retirement account and talk about some of the things that he did to help a couple get on their path to financial freedom. So let's hop to it. Bob, you know, when it comes to severe market declines, this is definitely not our first rodeo. I still remember you came back from Hawaii in the midst of Black Monday when you had the crash of 87. We started our business during the Great Recession. So, you know, we've been through a lot of these and we find that the response that you take during these crises really determine how su successful you are with your retirement plan and investing. So I thought we could talk a little bit about the emotional impact and what you need to be doing right now. And the big thing right now is obviously fear and panic is everywhere. Well, you know, Rod, they're two different emotions, right? I mean, if you're not afraid right now, then you're not human, right? Our brains are hardwired to respond to threats. And this coronavirus is a threat. It's a threat to our economy. It's a threat to our health. It's a threat to our family. And everybody is full of fear right now. Now, panic, that's a whole different emotion, isn't it, right? Yeah. I mean, we are seeing panic right now. We've seen people panic out of the market saying, I just want to get out, I'll wait till the market comes down. And what we've learned historically is when people panic out of the market, if you're thinking about panicking out right now, A, it's never the right time to do it. And number two, the problem is it's not necessarily getting out of the markets, but the question is, when do you get back in? And as you and I know, Bob, it's really hard to get back in once you've gotten out. Well, you know, if you just look back at the last 46 years and you look at all these panics and crises, these big declines, you know, you go back to 1987. We had a two-day bear market where we lost 35% in value. If I show anybody that drop on a chart, they go, oh, I wish I was around then. I would have, that would have been a great buying opportunity. And then I show them 2008, 2009 when we started paying capital where the Dow was down around 6,000. And they go, oh, gee, Bob, I wish we had started with you in 2009. What a great buying yeah. opportunity. Then I show them the drop we had in the market so far this month and they go, Oh, well, I don't want that kind of buying my opportunity when I'm scared. You know, it's a, I don't want to buy now. That, that's not a buying. It's a selling opportunity. Well, you know, that's where we got to really use our brains, you know, for the way they're intended. Yeah. Well, number one, you never get good pricing uh, with good news. You know, you only get good pricing with bad news. That's one of the, the hard parts about being an investor. But I think the key here is you don't want to be reactionary when it comes to your investment strategy right now. That never ends well because the problem is, the news might still get worse, but the market probably will recover before that. 
Mm-hmm. So if you're waiting for that good news to happen, it's probably too late. So what we want you to think about today, Bob, and what we've been looking at with our own financial planning practice is you want to be proactive here, not reactive. There's a lot of things you can be doing right now that are actually going to be beneficial to your portfolio long term. Well, first of all, Brian, that's a key word, portfolio. If you have a portfolio, even if the market, like the stock market, is going down right now, your portfolio makes money every day. Your bonds accrue interest. That's your money. Your dividends are paid every quarter. That's your money. You get that regardless of whether there's a coronavirus or the economy slowing or accelerating. You know, that's your money and you get a chance to either spend it or redeploy it. And, you know, when you have a panic in the market, prices are good. So if you have extra income, now it's a good time to act. Yeah. It's like, it's the great irony because the market's down now. The dividend yields have gone up. So now the yields or the income you can get from a diversified portfolio are better than they've been in many years. It's actually some of the best cash flow I've ever seen. So the first audit you want to make is what kind of income does your portfolio generate? And if you're looking at it, it's very lacking right now. This might be a great time to redeploy your capital, re-diversify and actually generate more income for your portfolio for the long term. And that's a critical part of your retirement is you have to have an income plan. And right now, I'd say more than ever, is a really good time to reallocate and maybe get a better income plan in place than you've had before. The other big thing, Bob, we talk about are tax losses. What a great opportunity to take advantage of right now while the market's down. Hey, Ryan, you always tell me there's only two guarantees in life, death and taxes. And you know the IRS didn't retire. You know they may be social distancing themselves, but guess what? They can get you in the mail. They can email you. They want their money. So you know what? One of the nice things that comes out of these declines, you can do what's called a tax swap. You can legally sell your investment at a loss, invest in something completely similar, so you don't lose your position in the market, and get the IRS to help you out with some of your losses. You know why not? Let's uh, let's let the IRS participate for a change. Yeah, it's a huge opportunity. Your taxable accounts. You really want to look at those things right now. It's almost like. The way I look at it is like you're in a boat, the tide has gone down, your boat might have some holes in it, it might be sinking, but you can jump to another boat that's much sturdier, that's paying more income, that's better diversified, book your losses. So when the tide goes up again, you're going to be much better positioned than you are right now. So there's no better time than right now to make those proactive adjustments, not those fear-based reactionary adjustments that we don't want you to make. No, absolutely right. I think that uh, you look at the opposite of fear, the opposite of panic. Look at opportunity, right? The opposite of crisis is opportunity. And there's an opportunity to increase your long-term returns when you have these illogical, irrational dislocations in the market, right? You yeah. can't control the market, right? can you? Uh, you definitely can't control the market, but you can control your risk, you can control your income, and you can control how you react to things that are going on right now. Last I checked, buying low has always been a good strategy. Bob, you're, you're the dean of common sense today. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, that's what I need to do. I need to be proactive in this tumultuous time. I need to make, I need to make the right decisions with my portfolio. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $500,000 saved for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you our total financial master plan. And we're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we look at everything. All you need to do is bring those statements in or print them off the computer, bring them in the office. We're going to take all that information and we're going to literally build for you your own personalized financial portal so we get a bird's eye view of your entire financial life. And then we can start making some really good decisions. We're going to look at everything from income. Do you have an income plan for retirement? Can you optimize the income on your portfolio right now so you're not at the helm of the ups and downs of the market? We're going to show you how to optimize the income on your portfolio and build an income plan for life. We're going to look at diversification. Did you get hit really hard here in the last month as the markets came down? What other underlying risks do you have in your portfolio you're not protecting against? We're going to show you how to bulletproof or protect your portfolio for retirement. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. There's probably a lot of hidden costs in your portfolio you don't know you're paying. Here's a great time to start to reduce that cost on your portfolio. We're going to show you where all the hidden costs are in those annuities, insurance products, those high cost mutual funds that you own. And we're going to show you how to optimize your portfolio for taxes so there's more money in your pocket. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now we've literally worked on for over 45 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or you could just simply call... 844 plan NYC. That's 844 PL 
A-N-N-Y-C. If you're one of our next 10 callers, you've saved over 500000 for your retirement. My son, Ryan, and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost, but there won't be a plan unless you call or text right now. That's 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-P-L-A-N-N-Y-C. Hey, this is Bob Payne, and I'm hanging out virtually with my son, Rye Payne, because we're the pains of no pain, no gain, financial radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I, we always want to give you the most common sense, practical advice when it comes to your planning and investing. That's why we put together our latest guide. We give you five ways to save on taxes in 2020, but we also give an update on the new Secure Act. There's some new ways to save on taxes. There's a lot you can do before April 15th. We give you a couple ideas even for 2019 you can use. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B U. L L I S H to five 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 eight eight eight. That's the word bullish. Five 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 eight eight eight. We give you five ways to save on taxes. Money saved in taxes is just as green as any money you can make invested. Right now is a good time to look at all the tax optimization strategies you can utilize. We give you five ways to do it. We also give you all the highlights from the new Secure Act. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to five 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 eight eight eight. That's the word bullish to five 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 eight eight eight. So, Bob, you know, I thought we could talk a lot about some of the irrational decisions we're seeing being made right now. We know in these tumultuous times, we know when the market's down, we've been through this before, it's not our first rodeo, that a lot of times, a lot of people are going to make decisions that they're going to regret later, that they're going to impact their portfolio and their financial health. So, I thought we could break down some of the more common mistakes we see investors making, and they do it time and time again, so our listeners can really avoid those reactionary type of investment decisions, you know, in this time of uh, complete uncertainty, really. Hey, Ryan, I think the number one thing that a lot of us do is we blindly consider bonds to be a safe investment. Bonds aren't created equal. And we've been talking about this for a long time, and now it's coming to roost. If you noticed last week in your bond portfolio, especially those bond funds, you thought they were going to go up when the market was going down, and they actually went down. So a lot of these bond funds own a lot of paper, or underlying bonds that are very high risk. And now that companies are leveraged, you're starting to feel the pain on those. I got so many questions in the last couple days about why is my bond portfolio going down or my bond fund going down? This is the problem with bond funds, Bob. Well, the biggest problem, I think, with bonds, right, is quality, right? We've always, we know, right, I think the number one investment rule I ever taught you was be very careful who you loan money to, because when you make a loan, what do you want? What do you want? You want your money back. Yeah, you want number one <laughs> priority to get your money back. So I told you never loan to your friends and never loan money to your brother in law, right? So That's you right. want to lend, right? You want to lend your money to highest quality. What's the highest quality institution you can lend money to? Well, the US government obviously is at the top, but any sort of A rated bond, typically that the rating agencies have out there, are going to trade much better in these markets with the lower grade bonds. And the problem is you don't know what you own in these bond funds. We've been warning about this for a long time. And the problem is it's very low quality paper. And when the economy comes to a halt, like it has right now, that starts to get hit really hard, just like your stocks. So it's not a true hedge anymore. So, you know, we talk about this a lot. It's so important. If you're going to put your money into anything safe, you have to really know what you own when it comes to your bonds and bond funds. You just don't know. No, you don't. So you never want to reach for yield. And that's the whole thing, right? It makes common sense, right? You lend your money to the highest quality person or institution so you know you get your money back. The rating agencies go out there and tell you who's high quality. And then people turn around and they invest in something called high yield. What is high yield really, right? It's aka junk bonds, Bob. And high yield is a real nice euphemism for junk. And I don't know about you. I don't want anything called junk in my portfolio. That just doesn't make a lot of sense. No. So when you make an investment in bonds, which is a brilliant thing to do, Make sure you only lend your money to the highest quality institution because the number one rule is what, Ry? More important than a return on your money is a return of your money. Brilliant. 
The other thing, Bob, which is kind of obvious now is not guarding against market declines. And let's be honest, you might be guilty of this right now. You're riding the market up and up and up. And we had a lot of people come into our office that we recommended that you get a big high quality portfolio of bonds that you actually own that do come due. And you, maybe you didn't do it. And now you're feeling the pain, no pun intended, on the downside. So right now is really important to remember if you're getting close to retirement, if you're tired now, you can't just be riding the market up or down. No, you can't, right? I think that um, you know, all through my career, I've always had investors ask me, how do you hedge your portfolio, Bob? Do you buy gold? Do you buy oil? Do you buy puts on the market? You know, all these different hedging strategies are expensive. And then when you figure it out after the expense, you don't really make any money. The only true hedge there is, Rye, are bonds that come due. And that are high quality because we've seen in the last couple of weeks, a high quality portfolio of bonds versus a junk bond portfolio has actually held its value here. And that's probably the most comforting thing you can possibly have when the proverbial, you know what, hits the fan. Um, and that's why I think it's so important right now, if you did get hit hard here, you've really got to re reassess your strategy moving forward. And bond funds, as we've mentioned before, are not the answer. And we know that they are in everybody's portfolio because we meet with everybody every week. The only way to have a true hedge is to own actual bonds that have an actual maturity date and an actual fixed rate of return. Take a look at your statement. If that's not on there right now, you've got to get rid of that investment. Now, the other thing I worry about right now, Bob, is you know, you're going to hear a lot about these one-size-fits-all approaches to solving all your retirement issues. So those annuity salesmen are going to be knocking on your door saying that we can give you income for life, sell your market losses right now, and then you're going to get an income stream that's basically going to set you for the rest of your life. As you and I know, that's not necessarily a great strategy, and there could be a lot of buyer remorse later. Well, that's because the biggest problem everybody has, the number one risk we all have, I don't care who you are, is cost of living increases. That hidden, hideous, insidious tax called inflation, right? Yeah. So if you're tempted right now to say, hey, I'm going to just lock everything into an annuity, number one, you're going to get a fixed rate of return on that annuity or a fixed income stream. It doesn't adjust to inflation. That's a problem because your cost of living is literally going to be cut in half over the next 20 years. The other thing is a lot of these insurance products, they're illiquid, Bob. The one thing you can say about the market being down right now, if you have bonds in your portfolio, is you have access to your money. Be very careful if you're going to buy an annuity or something like that is the illiquidity can be a real problem down the line. The closer you are to retirement, if you're retired now, having more access or liquidity with your money is better than less. Hey, Ryan, it's not just, you know, it's not just getting income, it's also having liquidity. You know, we're finding with a lot of our really smart clients, they're not just reinvesting in the stock market, they're also taking advantage of what's happening out in the business world. I had a client go in and buy somebody's business last week. Yeah, and that's the other thing too. I mean, we talk a lot about how this is terrible. You know, the economy has stopped right now, but I think you have to look at it from the other perspective as well. Like, look, we're running our business through Zoom now, pretty much. And if you ever want to review right now, you don't have to come to the office. We can actually do a Zoom call. Is we're seeing some of the smartest people in the country. A lot of our clients are CEOs and presidents of businesses. There's a lot of action going on right now where people are making very big, smart, proactive moves. And that's going to benefit those companies when we have the recovery. Another reason why you do want to be invested for the long term here is this is where the opportunity is created. It's during all this uncertainty. And another reason why you want to be an investor right now, not sitting on the sidelines earning 0%, waiting for uh, the signs from the sky to come down. Those moves are being made right now. And that's the only way to benefit from that is to be invested and to take advantage of the opportunity. Yeah. And when this business owner called me, he said, Bob, can you get a million two to my bank right away? And I said, sure. You have a very liquid portfolio. We've got bonds that are you know, profitable across the board. I said, by the way, you know, if you'd have made that move into the annuity you talked to me about a couple of years ago, you wouldn't be able to get your money. How's that make you feel? Hey, if you're thinking to yourself right now, you know what? I don't want to have these common mistakes that Ryan and Bob are talking about. I want to be certain that the safe investments in my portfolio are actually safe. I want to guard against the next big decline. I don't, you know, I don't like what I'm seeing in my portfolio right now. Well, here's your chance. If you're one of our next eight callers and you've saved at least 500,000 for retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own 360 financial portal. Now, this is a financial GPS, not anything, not really that different than what you have in your car right now. It'll tell you exactly where you are financially and map out where you're going and report daily on how you're progressing towards your financial independence. 
It will define your financial timeline and the best, most efficient route to achieve all of your financial goals. It'll put your financial life in order. It'll track and monitor and update your net worth on a daily basis. And you can drop in and check in when you feel like it, not when somebody calls you. And if you have a financial GPS, you'll always know where you are. But more importantly, you'll know exactly where you're going. In addition, Ryan and I will do a complete analysis of your portfolio to be certain that you have the three key elements of a successful strategy. Diversification, low cost, and high income. You know, diversification is really about having safe and risk investments in a way that it protects you from this crazy volatility that we're going through right now. And costs, yeah, they're hidden. We talk about it every week. We have x-ray vision. Well, actually, we have tools that can see behind the curtain and let you know where you have costs that are unnecessary that do hurt your return in the long run. And income is something we all need. Once we end up retiring, we're not going to get that paycheck any longer. We need to fill that income gap. And any of you that are retired right now, your number one goal is to keep it that way. And that requires dependable, repeatable income. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan. We'll answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Where's your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for almost 40 years. That's right. For over four decades, we've been helping families just like yours get to your goals, to your dreams with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as only a fiduciary can provide. So don't waste time. Give us a call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get that second opinion. If you're one of the next eight callers or you text and you have over $500,000 safe for retirement at 844 844- 752-6692-844-752-6692. If you're tired of looking at your screens, looking at your portfolio going down every single day, we can set up a Zoom call with one of our financial advisors, go through the portfolio, make sure you're on track at 844-752-6692. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. This is no pain, no gain financial radio it's time for financial propaganda of the week this is where bob and i scour the daily financial news and call it the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions and bob i mean right now with all the craziness going on i say all of a sudden everyone has become an economist (laughs) <laughs> well, that's true, Ry. Uh, either an economist or a um, or a healthcare expert. Suddenly, they know more about viruses than than anybody I've ever. Even my own doctor knows more. They know more than my own doctor. And I think right now, more than ever, uh, financial propaganda is the most apt thing we can be talking about because I've seen more financial propaganda now than we've seen in a long time. So I thought, why don't we break down some of the stories we've seen and just talk about how ridiculous they are and how our listeners should avoid them. Well, here's how the typical headline goes, right? You know, the financial world's a mess right now, not just here, but everywhere in the world. It's problems wherever have been leaking into the general economy, and the leaks are now turning into a gusher. In the near term, unemployment's going to rise. It's going to rise dramatically in March and April. Business activity is going to falter, and headlines will continue to be scary. So in reaction to that, this guy said, so you know what I'm doing? I'm buying American stocks. Can you believe who, who said that? I'm going to bet it's Warren Buffett. It is Warren Buffett. And he said it back in October of 2008 in a New York Times op-ed. And the Uh, fact of the matter is, he was right again. And the funny thing is that headline could be, I thought you were talking about today, because that's the problem is, you know, these things do, they don't repeat, but they do rhyme, Bob. And this sounds a lot like what happened in 2008 and 2009 from the fact the market sold off very drastically, very quickly. And... The news became very, very negative very quickly. And if you remember, Warren Buffett made more money than anybody during the financial crisis because he was out buying when everyone else was running for the hills. Yeah, that's the thing. In the short run, and this has really been only a couple of weeks, so it, it's it's really hard to digest. But you know, in the short run, pessimism reigns. In the long run, optimism gets all the return. So you know, I think that that's the the thing that you'll see in the financial media right now. You can see a lot of these articles that. They, they could have been 2008. They could have been 1987. Uh, they write the same articles. They say the same things. And the reaction we should have should be different 
shouldn't be fear and panic. It should be looking at it as in, in terms of opportunity. Well, this goes back to what we said in the last segment. I think the thing you have to remember is the market will recover most likely before the news is going to get better. Any time that we've seen this in the past, you know, we already know the market's already discounting what's happening in the future. Mm-hmm. So it's not going to be a surprise that yes, we might go into recession. But the truth is, nobody really knows that. In fact, there's still a good chance, depending on how this virus dissipates over time. I mean, we might not even go into recession. That's the thing. Nobody really knows right now. And my advice has been anyone who tells you they know, <laughs> you know, don't walk away, Bob, right now. You need to run away. <laughs> because nobody really knows how long this impact's going to last. But we do know at some point it is going to come to an end. But right, that's the classic mistake that everybody makes, right? They're watching the media. They're reading these articles saying, no one knows. So you know what? I'm just going to dodge all the downside, get on the sidelines, and I'll just wait for the good news to come in to justify me getting invested again. Yeah, and invariably, when the news is better, the market's already going to be a lot higher, and you miss that opportunity. And we talk about this a lot when it comes to your goals right now. You know, you can't miss the recoveries. You need to have those recoveries in your portfolio to get those long-term returns. So if you think you're going to skirt it and go to the sidelines, and you miss the recovery rally that comes after news actually gets better, well, if you miss those returns, you might as well not even invest in stocks because you miss all the opportunity. Yeah, and that's the right. If you're selling right now, you're selling to people like Warren Buffett because he never sells, right? He's an investor. Look, you need income. If your plan is showing that you're generating the income you need, turn that media off, turn that TV off, stop looking at your statement, go out and live your life and spend your income. <laughs> well, that's that'll help the economy for sure. Um, but yeah, I think that's really important right now. And I think the other thing to remember is, you know, we have a supply and we have a demand shock right now. But this is a little bit different than 2008 and 2009, where we had a financial crisis where demand mm-hmm. actually disappeared. You know, you have demand here that's delayed, but I would argue that it isn't all disappearing because maybe you want to buy that refrigerator, but you can't buy it right now because the supply chains are, aren't working. You're probably still going to buy that refrigerator sometime later this year. Now, I'm not going to discount the fact that maybe if you're on a restaurant or a lot of service businesses are getting hit really hard right now. And and that's the truth because you're not going to go out to dinner to make up for the dinners you didn't go out for. But the reality of it is there's a lot of demand out there that's still going to happen at some point. And like we talked about earlier on the show today, there's a lot of smart CEOs right now making moves that are going to make them be on top when the market does actually recover and the economy recovers. Well, it's the thing, you know, when it comes to investing, it should be dollar cost average in, dollar cost average out. You don't have to make any radical decisions, right? Just gradually add in to the bargains as they appear, but maintain your proper asset allocation. That way you become a smart investor and you become an investor. You don't see the panic as something you should participate in. You see the panic as something you should take advantage of. Yeah. So I think the moral of the story here, Bob, is you're going to hear a lot of prognosticators. They're going to tell you they think the market's going to go down another 30% from here. Well, how come they didn't tell us about the last 30%? The problem is with anticipating in the markets, and I can tell you, in January, there wasn't one analyst, there wasn't an economist on Wall Street that said there was going to be some kind of virus in China because people like to eat bats and snakes (laughs) that was going to eventually spread over the world and turn the economy into a complete shutdown within two months. I, I didn't see that in anyone's reports coming into the year this year. So how do they know now? I think it's totally... Uh, qualifies as a black swan event, something that's unpredictable. But you know, Rob, I've been teaching you your whole investment life. Why are there unexpected moves in the financial markets? I'm going to take a, I'm going to go on a limb here, Bob, because they're unexpected. <laughs> yes. And that's been going on for 300 years. The only way that you and I and everyone else can handle unexpected volatility is to have a plan that's based on our goals, based on what our needs are. So you only own the stocks you need to own. You own the bonds that generate the income and give you the safety you need to overcome inflation and taxation and to give you the liquidity you need in the event of an emergency. And we're going to have some emergencies here in the next couple of months. Got to make sure you've got the portfolio to cover all those bases. Yeah. So, hey, let's help you get your game face on, get your game plan in place that you really need. If you didn't think you needed it, you know you need it now. If you're one of the next six callers, or you text, and you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, myself and Bob will run for you our total financial master plan. We're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we're going to look at everything for you. 
Just print those statements off. Don't even look at them if it's that painful. Bring them in the office or we're doing Zoom calls now too. So we can do everything over a secure email and we can review everything for you. And we can look at all the critical components to your portfolio. We're going to look at everything from income. You need an income plan for retirement. Whether you're planning to retire or you're retired now, we're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio so you have an income plan for retirement. We're going to look at diversification. You probably got hit really hard in the last couple of weeks. What's your game plan? How are you going to plan for that in the future? How are you going to bulletproof your portfolio so it doesn't happen again? We're going to show you how to protect your portfolio for the long term. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. There's probably a lot of high cost investments in your portfolio. You don't even know you're paying in those mutual funds, those insurance products, annuities, life insurance products. We're going to show you how to reduce cost on your portfolio, especially now while the market's down. And we're going to show you how to optimize your portfolio for taxes so there's more money in your pocket for retirement that we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing the strategies now our family has literally worked on for over 45 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or you just simply call 844 844- Plan NYC. That's 844 P L A N N Y C. If you're one of our next six callers, you've saved over 500000 for retirement. Brian and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, no strings attached, but there won't be a plan unless you text or call 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692. Or you can simply call 844 844- Plan NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob and I'm with my son, Rye, and we're the pains of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, you can actually check us out on the World Wide Web. Simply go to bbullish.com. That's bbullish.com. You can actually subscribe to the show as a podcast format. You can subscribe and have it come to your inbox every single week. You can actually learn more about our firm and what we do here at Pain Capital Management. Simply go to bbullish.com. But most importantly, Bob's hair is real. But I want you to check it out for yourself. Go to bbullish.com. You can catch myself and other advisors from our firm on all the major networks every week from CNBC, Fox Business News, Yahoo Finance, just talking about our latest views on the economy and the market. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, especially in these crazy times, we actually answer all your emails directly. Simply email us at questions at bbullish.com. That's questions at bbullish.com. We answer all your questions. And like every week, we got some really good questions this week. So we're going to have our man in the studio, Walter Storholtz, who actually he's from the beginning. He got us into radio. He's going to help us with questions today and see if we can help out with some answers. How you doing, Walter? Thanks for being on the show with us today. The OG producer, I think they call him. <laughs> OG, man. We go, we go way back. I, I, yes. I split the difference between you guys. So we've got one in uh, New York, New Jersey, one in Florida. I'm in the pollen capital of the world in North Carolina right now. So. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, there you go. Got some green on your car, do you? Uh, yeah, just a little bit. It, the, our house is already sort of a uh, polleny yellow greenish color, so it it hides it well. But then when you look at the ground, it gets worse and worse. So, mm-hmm. in any event, pollen sounds better than Corona right now. So yeah, I think that's, uh, but it makes everybody problem. think they have Corona because everyone's got yes, allergies now. All of a sudden, mm, good point. Yes. In any event, we've got some real smart listeners asking questions on today's show, guys. So we'll start it off with Diana in Livingston, New Jersey. Uh, Diana says, Bob, how does one get better at risk tolerance and mitigation? I'm tempted to go all cash and just sit things out for the foreseeable future because I don't have the tolerance to stomach these wild swings. Well, you know, Diana, no one does. You know, no one wants to be in a volatile market where the valuations are unknowable. They go up and down like a video game more than it does, you know, like a, like a stock market or a market. So it's unnerving. And there's really only one way to overcome that, Rye, isn't there? And that's to have a plan based on achieving your goals, not on trying to time or beat the market. Yeah, I know. It's a good point. We've talked about that at nauseum today. It's just that that diversification piece, you have to have money in different pockets. Now, it's great to tell you that after the market's already been down, uh, you know, in, in this case, in excess of 30%, 
But the bottom line is, I think at this point, the worst thing you can do is just, we talked about this earlier in the show today, is just panic out and sell. That's not a strategy. And that's something we found that you'll have buyer's remorse with later. So having an actual game plan for, do you re-diversify, like we talked about earlier, into stuff that has higher dividends, maybe some bond exposure and look at tax loss, things like that. That's a strategy. Panic selling out here and waiting for the bottom is not. No, because what happens if you look at your financial plan and it shows you're going to run out of money, that's very motivating. And if you have all your money sitting in returns that are negative, for example, if you put everything into a short-term CD right now, you put it into a money market fund, net of inflation, you know, you're going to have a negative return. And most of us, if we have investments at a negative return, are going to have a negative outlook and a negative result. So I think running out of money is much more motivating than dealing with wild swings. So I, I think having a financial plan, being able to understand what you own and why you own it, you can still have the majority of your money, Diane, in safe investments and not have to really worry about whether the market swings up or down 10%. Yeah. So I think the, the, the long story short here is like work on the plan first and then you can reverse engineer and then start making some good decisions about your portfolio, but don't blanket sell here. It's a great, great question. True. Good job, Diane. Thanks for submitting that one to us today. And we have another one here from Marco in Scarsdale, New York. And this one's for you, Ryan. Uh, Marco says, I have a substantial amount of cash that I've been keeping in the bank for a while, thinking that I might try to buy an investment property if the right one came along. But now I'm thinking I should use it to buy some stocks that are pretty cheap right now. What do you think? Again, that's not quite a strategy. I think I like your idea. I think, yes, here's a good time to buy stocks for the long term. But I think the question is, number one, what's your risk tolerance? Because right now we know the markets are extremely volatile. And it all goes back to the why. You know, Why are you going to own stocks and having a longer term time horizon, Bob? Because I think the bottom line here is, look, this is all probably great value to own stocks. But what percentage should that be based on how much do you actually need in stocks or growth to get to your goals? I think you have to answer that question first uh, before you can just say, I'm going to buy stocks here because I think they're cheap. That's not a great strategy to stay invested long term in our experience. No, not at all. I mean, you really have to understand, you know, why do you need a return? Right. If you look at your, your income that you're going to get from Social Security or from pension or, you know, from whatever sources, you know, when you're not getting a paycheck any longer, Rye, when you're retired, You've got to have that income and, you know, it doesn't have to be high risk income, but you got to understand where is it coming from and you need a strategy so that when you look at your portfolio, you make investments into things that give you what you're required as opposed to you trying to figure out what's the best. Yes, exactly. And I think this goes back to, we like to tell the story a lot. Back in the day, I remember Shaquille O'Neal was in the height of his powers as a basketball player. And one of the interviewers that interviewed him on the court was asking him about, you know, what are you doing with your investments right now? I mean, you're making a ton of money. You know, you're, you're at the top of your game. You're buying stocks here. You're buying real estate. He goes, no, man, T-bills. <laughs> he said, what do you mean? Treasury bills? That's like no return. He's like, I got more money than I'll ever need. I don't need the risk. And I think that's the question you have to ask yourself first is what risk do I actually even need? Because if you can get away with a very small percentage in stocks, maybe you only need bonds when you're retired, then don't take the unnecessary risk. And you know, Ryan, that's that's the dirty little secret. Over my 46 years, I've discovered with everybody I ever met with that in 100% of the cases, they were taking more risk than necessary to, to achieve all of their financial goals. Not one or two, but all of them. So it's really, there, there's more risk in your portfolio than you realize. That's why you need to plan to make those adjustments as you get older, as time goes by. Yeah. So I think the bottom line here is find out the right amount of risk, not too little, but not too much. What's the sweet spot? That's what you need to figure out for you. What do you call that, right? The Goldilocks strategy? (laughs) I call that the common sense strategy, Bob, because let's be be honest. We're just two guys from Philly that keep it simple. Yeah. Good point. So let me ask you a question, Ryan. On a scale of one to 10, in terms of being financially organized, where would you rank Diana and Marco? Oof, it sounds like they got a long way to go. There's no financial planning being done here. I'm sorry. My benevolence is very low today. I give them a hard two each. Oof, you're not very benevolent. Uh, I think this market's putting you in a bad mood. So let me ask all of you out there right now, on a scale of one to 10, in terms of being financially organized, where would Ryan rank you? How about your spouse? They probably know you better than, than Ryan and I right now. What would they give you? Would you be a 10? Well, if you're not, why wouldn't you want to be? And here's your opportunity. And if you're one of our next four callers, we will create for you your own 360 financial portal. 
It's a financial GPS, no different than the one that's in your car and truck right now. It'll tell you where you are financially and map where you're going and report daily on the progress of your journey to financial independence. It will define your financial timeline and the best, most efficient route to achieve all of your financial goals. It'll put your financial life on autopilot. It will help you to avoid the financial potholes and dead ends of the typical cookie cutter financial plan. It'll update your net worth in real time on a daily basis so you'll always know where you are and exactly where you're going. More importantly, we'll take those statements that are coming in right now and we'll break it down to see if you have a collection of investments or the three key elements of what we call successful strategy. Are you truly diversified? Are you paying more costs than necessary? Are you getting the income you need to achieve your goals, net of inflation and taxation? And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan. We'll answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my firm's been perfecting now for over 40 years? That's right. For four decades, we've been helping families just like yours achieve your goals, your point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So don't waste time. Give us a call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. We still have four slots left. We have over $500,000 safe for retirement. We're doing video calls, teleconferences right now to review your portfolio for you at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Six six nine two is your shot to get that second opinion. Again, we can do it through video conference, teleconference, review the portfolio while you're sitting at home at eight four four plan NYC. That's eight four four seven five two six six nine two. That's eight four four P L A N N Y C. This is no pain, no gain. Financial radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne. No pain, no gain financial radio. And of course, that's P-A-Y-N-E. And Bob and I want to make sure you have the most common sense, practical advice as you're planning and investing. And there's still time to save on taxes for 2019 and 2020. We give you five ways to do it. And we give you all the updates on the new Secure Act, which gives you some new ways to save on taxes. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. That's the word bullish. 555-888. We give you five ways to save on taxes in 2020, but there's also things you can do for 2019 up until April, and which might get extended right now as I'm recording this, along with we give you all the updates on the new Secure Act. So you want to check it out. You can download it for free. Give yourself some ways to save on taxes at 555-888. You simply text the word bullish to 555-888. And now we have a very special guest on the show. Arguably the most handsome pain, but that's up for debate. It's my brother, Bob's son, financial advisor, pain capital management, Chris Payne. Chris, with all the volatility and craziness, it's great to have you on the show, brother. Yeah, you know what, Ryan? Like with so much uncertainty, there's one thing that is is absolutely certain that no one's arguing who's more handsome. Clearly, that is me. <laughs> I don't know where you get your news from, but I, I think that's fake news, Bob. <laughs> I think that uh, is a, is an argument that I'm not going to get involved in. <laughs> so, Chris, this is our spotlight segment. Every week, what we like to do is we like to break down a real retirement plan we worked on, how we helped a certain person or family get on their path to financial freedom. Why don't you break down a case you recently worked on so we can help our listeners make sure they're making all the right decisions for their planning and investing, specifically for retirement? Yeah, sure. Right. So, I recently worked with, uh, with a lady up in the New York area, up in your neck of the woods. And she asked me to just to really just was looking for me just to give her a second opinion. And uh, what, a couple of things that I found, you know, that were really interesting right off the bat. And, you know, I, I, we find this a lot. One, just way too risk, way too risky in her investments. And, you know, when you're in your 60s, getting close to retirement, to be 80% at risk, 80% in the market is, is way too much risk. I mean, that's the same kind of risk, right, that you and I are taking. You know, in our early twenties. Yeah, so, we in our early twenties, but yes, I agree. Oh, we're not. I'm sorry, I get confused sometimes. <laughs> and so that's a lot of risk to begin with. Not to mention a lot of the investments that she held in her portfolio were using leverage. So a lot of the, you know, eighty percent is a lot of risk to take to begin with. But a yes. lot of those investments that she owned, she was using leverage. The funds that she had were, were leveraged funds. So essentially, 
if the market goes up three times, well, yeah, she makes three times, makes, makes three times what her return would be, but that's a double edged sword. So if the market goes down, and I think we can all agree the market's going down right now, she's, she's getting not 100% of the losses, she's getting 300% of the losses if wow. she stayed in the strategy. Hmm. Did she have any idea, Chris, that these investments were borrowing money to leverage up the return? Well, no, because she hadn't heard from her advisor in th over three years. What? Wow. That's crazy. Well, I think that's the other thing too. You know, what we find is a lot of you when you come into our office is it's you don't really know the risk you're actually taking because you probably have accounts at a lot of different places, whether it's a 401k over here, or maybe you have an account, brokerage account, with Morgan Stanley over here, and another advisor over here. So unless you actually tally up all the different investments you have in one place, I'm gonna assume this woman did not really know what kind of risk she was actually taking. No clue. And one of the things that she commented on was she said, Well, well, twenty percent of my money's in bonds. That's safe, right? I said, "Well, you know, there's always risk in anything that you do when you're investing." And I said, "On the surface, it does look like you own twenty percent in bonds, but it's the way you own those bonds that are really risky. Twenty percent of those of that that bond money are fixed income. We're sitting in these things called bond funds. Oh, we talked about them today. Treacherous, absolutely." And she said, "Well, why why are they dangerous?" I said, "Well, they're dangerous for three reasons." I said, "One, you don't own the bonds outright, so that means that there's no set date of maturity. We don't know." Definitively, when that money is going to come due. Two, your set of rate of return is not set. So, with with interest rates fluctuating, bonds the price. Excuse me, interest rates going down, you're going to lose yield or interest or income on that portfolio. And I always say you get a better outcome with income. Yes. And then, thirdly, you don't have any tr control over the quality of the bonds that you're buying. You know, bonds are a lot like people. You're not going to lend money to that unreliable friend. You certainly aren't going to lend money to the city of Camden, New Jersey, or Harrisburg knowing that in the future, the likelihood of you getting your money back is pretty nil. Yeah. Well, so, that's the problem, Chris. I think in a lot of these uh, portfolios, because they have a lot of inherent costs, they try to overcome those costs by reaching for a higher risk bond, bonds that are not rated or their junk status uh, because they get the higher dividend yield. But the inverse of that is they're the ones that go down the most when you get into turbulent times. Yeah, which says to me right now too, like if, if you see those bond funds going down, I, I think this is still a time to get out. And look, this is something we have talked about at nauseum, uh, I think episode after episode, and it's finally coming to roost. And we, we warned about the bond funds, and this is this perfect example. It's actually happening now. You know, so what, Chris, what were you able to do here to, to I guess, mend the situation? Well, one, we, we started to, to de-risk her portfolio. So getting rid of a lot of the equities that she'd owned, starting to spread out some of the risk across different asset classes. That was the first thing. And then we got rid of those stinking bond funds and started to buy a portfolio that would actually come due. So Chris, I think one of the best advantages, the biggest advantage of, of coming in to sit down with uh, an advisor like you is that you're able to take that portfolio and show what it looks like going forward and what it's done in the past. And you know, I think in this situation, like 90% of every one of you that we've met with, you're taking way more risk than necessary to achieve your goals. So when you were able to de-risk that portfolio, what was the reaction on the part of the investor? Well, you know, she was very uncertain at first because, you know, everybody's experience over the last 10 years is that, you know, markets have done extraordinary, but she's singing a different tune today. Yeah. I mean, obviously in yeah, she is. And I think the thing is about risk, which which really is hard when it comes to investing, is you don't know the risk in your portfolio till hindsight. Right? When the market is going up and up and up, the irony is that's when you have the most risk, but you don't know you have that risk until the market does something like this. And that's why I think one of the themes of the show today, and I think it's really important to our listeners to hear this right now, is how critical it is to have a proactive strategy versus a reactive strategy. Because we use this line a lot, but Warren Buffett, who is really the, the king of common sense, I uh, always says when the tide goes out, you can see who's been swimming naked. And of course, we're all kind of feeling that right now uh, in our portfolios. If we haven't made those adjustments, or we weren't proactive. I think it's just a good lesson that right now with things as crazy as they are, it's probably time to get a game plan and start to make the good decisions, You know, not be in those bond funds, be diversified and start making good decisions that are correlated to your goals, essentially. Yeah. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, that's it. I need a plan. I need to just look at my portfolio. Do I own bond funds? You know, what do I need to get rid of in my portfolio right now? What proactive strategies do I need to deploy to make sure I'm on my track for financial independence? Here's a shot to do it. We still have two slots left. If you have over $500,000 safe for retirement, myself, Bob, and Chris Payne, 
We'll run for you our famous Total Financial Master Plan. We're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we're literally going to look at the big picture. If you print your statements out or if you're at home right now, just uh, we have a secure email method that we can take those statements and we can build for you your own personalized financial portal, start taking a look at everything in a bird's eye view and really start looking at all those critical components. Everything from income, you need an income plan for retirement. We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio so you have a game plan to take your portfolio in retirement. We're going to look at diversification. Did you get hit really hard with the markets pulling back right now? What kind of protections do you have in your portfolio? We're going to show you where all the hidden risks are in your portfolio and show you how to bulletproof your portfolio for retirement. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. What are the hidden costs in your portfolio? What kind of fees are being charged you don't know? We're going to show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio and optimize your portfolio for taxes so there's more money in your pocket for retirement. Then we're going to tie it all together in a total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now we've literally worked on for over 45 years, going through all this kind of market volatility before to get you and your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of our last two callers, you've saved over 500000 for retirement. Rai, Chris, and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost, but there won't be a plan. Let's just text or call right now, 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Yeah. And just to mention too, since we're, we are in the mode of social distancing, we can do all these calls now via just a regular phone call. Um, or we do Zoom conferences, which we're getting really good at. If you're sitting home right now and you're tired of looking at the market going down, um, we'll literally put together a full plan for you. We can do a video conference and walk you through it and, and take a look at your portfolio. So just keep that in mind. Chris, amazing to have you on the show. Arguably the most handsome brother, but you know, I think the, the jury is still out on that. You know, again, Ryan, no, no, no argument about that. There's a lot of certainty. I'm definitely the best looking pain, hands down. <laughs> Dad's nodding his head. I don't think so, but that's just my interpretation. Hey, hey, don't put words in my mouth. Hey, just great to be able to hang out with you guys on the internet. Uh, like to see us sometime. So, you know, let me know when you're allowed out. <laughs> we'll keep you posted. Another great show. And as always, be bullish.